So I am obviously a big promoter of the program. I went through it myself, um, like I mentioned, so um, I definitely can give you the student perspective. Um, but it's nice to be on campus like you are, ask questions, um, sit in on a class if you're able to, take a class as a visiting student, that non-degree route, um, talk to our faculty, students, and alums, tour our campus. Um, we do have a beautiful space here and the resources are available to students and alumni. Um, compare us to the competition. It's a big investment in your time and money. So it's nice to do your due diligence and, and um, get you know, on campus and ask good questions and reach out. And you're more than welcome to meet with our staff. So I meet with students individually um, and go through their plan and what might be a good fit. So um, with that, I'd love to introduce one of my favorite people, alumni Carling Leon. Hi, so um, my name's Carling Leone, and I was a graduate of um, University of Portland twice. So for my undergrad in 2013, and then for my MBA um, in 2017. So um, as Melissa mentioned, you know, obviously this is a huge investment in yourself, but um, I was you know, on track to continue to grow in my company, but really knew that I wanted to continue my education as well. So I opted to go back. Um, and, you know, when I was considering other programs, I just kept coming back to University of Portland just because of the community and the support. And also the values of the university really aligned with the type of leader that I wanted to be within my company and within my team. So, um, you know, I took the MBA marketing route. So, so um, that was my emphasis, but I think the beauty of this education is that even though that was my focus, I still got to see how it intersected with all the other parts of the business um, in all the curriculum, obviously. And you know, one thing that I really took away from this, not only community, but the faculty and staff was that it was a really safe place for me to I hate to use the word fail, but it was a safe place for me to fail and to admit like I needed to work on things and um, really hone in on my strengths, but understand that you know I wasn't an expert in accounting or finance, and I used this time to grow and learn and put myself out there and um, work with peers that maybe were really strong in those in those spaces and you know follow up with my professors when I needed to. Um, and overall, it was a fantastic experience. I think you can kind of, you know, Goldilocks it to um, really work for you and your schedule. Um, the West Side campus is fantastic, but I always loved being over here because you get to really, you know, explore the campus itself and all the offerings that it has. The library's fantastic, um, but also the other resources, the career resource. Um, the Career Center is a fantastic place too to align with potential alumni that are working in industries that maybe you want to dabble in or companies that you're seeking out. Um, you know, that, that was my experience. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys may have, but um, you know, I just can't say enough good things about University of Portland. Um, and just the, the staff and the community, they really support you and push you. And I knew I wasn't going to fail. I knew I was going to be, um, you know, put in a, a place where I was going to excel. So, so yes. So talk about the international experience mm -hmm. that accounted for in the 52 to 56. So it is a 24, an additional $2,400. It's funny, we changed our um, slide because I had included it. And I would say about half of our students don't participate, um, being international students, or they've got a lot of travel experience, or for other medical reasons, or whatever it might be. So um, I pulled it out because it is a significant um, chunk. Did you do an international? I did. Oh, yeah, where did it you was go? fantastic. Yeah, so I, I participated and we went to Hong Kong, which was amazing. Um, and the way that we went about it was um, my professor had ties to Hong Kong and we really had to um, put together a business proposal for a certain industry in the or in Hong Kong and um, go there and actually meet with the professionals that would help activate this business proposition. And so mine, um, I previously worked for the timbers for six years. So mine was um, really um, 
empowering the the women's side of football in Hong Kong and so I met with the Hong Kong Football Club I met with a few of the the government organizations that I would need to work with for putting in fields um, and then you know working with women's groups over there so um, it was you know obviously a fictional thing but I actually got a job offer out of it um, when I was there and obviously didn't take it but it was um, really a, an amazing experience and it changes um, but it's based off of you know your professor and kind of where they they, um, kind of where their expertise lies and you can see because the um, the schedule comes out a few years like you mm -hmm. get a few options and so I think at the time it was like Dublin or Hong Kong and or I think they had just gone to Thailand or yeah. something it's yeah and so time. yeah so anyways so I, I had a great time and they do it over they did I was in March so we did it over like the spring break um, and people tagged on trips before or after but it was a really amazing experience so um, but the $2,400 does include hotel accommodations um, breakfasts travel insurance a visa if that's required um, transportation once you're there the big item it doesn't cover is the flight or the transportation to and from uh, we used to include it and had about a thousand dollars more to the program um, but I, I found myself being the travel agent because people wanted to use miles or go early or stay late. And so I thought, let's pull the, the flight out of it and have it be $1,000 less. Um, some countries we can cover a lot. I believe in Chile, we cover a lot of the meals, if not all, just because of the budget being where it is. Um, but not always is that the case. So, but there have been some, some repeats and, uh, Chile, Ireland. I believe this is the second time that Professor Holloway is bringing a group to the Netherlands as well. Yes? I would like to know more about the fellowship. Yes, the Pamplin Fellowship. So um, each year, it depends on how the demand is from our faculty and what the budget is to determine how many we can have. So there have been years where we've had seven students that have been awarded. You go through an application. And then we look at the um, merit and the match with a faculty member. So there are some that are pretty specific. One of our accounting professors has a tutor. Um, so that is a pretty specific niche. Um, the OTM team, our operations and technology management team, has one each semester. And theirs is a little bit more event planning because they have an advisory board they do a lot with. They have, uh, we have an OTM symposium. Um, there's a lot of different events around that OTM field. Um, but it is a 12 hours per week for the 15 week semester commitment. And then in turn, you get that three credits of tuition. Three credits. Three credits. So it's about $4,000. Yes. Yeah, so that's our mascot. Okay. <laughs> it's our mascot. And um, I think that Wally, the, the pilot, has been the mascot forever. I, yeah. But I think that there have, yeah, there has been, um, yeah, good picture of our little, yes, yes. And if you go to like a soccer game or a basketball game, um, he looks a little different. Yeah. <laughs> good question. <laughs> Anything else? If anyone does want to visit a class, I know I mentioned this at the very beginning when Dr. Holloway was talking. Um, I'm more than happy to send you a schedule and you can look at the list of classes that we have and you could say, I wanna visit you know, next week on Thursday night. And like I said, I always like to make sure it's an option so you're not jumping into an exam or something um, and that it would be a, a well worth your time. And you don't have to stay for the full three hours. You could come for half an hour or typically there's a natural break about halfway through the class um, or you could stay the full three hours. So um, I'm happy to send the schedule your way and make those arrangements if you're interested. Thank you.